For many, this was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. The celestial performance stretched from Oregon to South Carolina and cast a shadow 70 miles wide. We have live team coverage on this rare event. Kid Doe is in San Jose, but first, our own Ken Bastida basked in the shade of totality in Kaiser, Oregon, where history was made on a baseball field. Kenny? Yeah, I drove, you know, 600 miles to Oregon, Liz, and I got this really cool T-shirt. And uh, also got to see something that few people have seen the way we saw it today. You know that scene in the Tom Hanks film, A League of Their Own, where he says, There's no crying in baseball. Well, there were a lot of tears shed in this place today, and it had nothing at all to do with the game. started out like any normal baseball game, but by the second inning, the umps did something they've never done before. They called an eclipse delay. And then all the glasses came out. And then it got really dark. And then something out of this world happened. Amazingly beautiful. I had no idea that you could take your glasses off and see these hazes and glows and and, and diamonds it and it was it was spiritual. It was absolutely life changing. That was like the most incredible thing I've ever seen. When it when it reached totality and there was just the ring around the moon. Oh man, that was incredible. Yeah, that was pretty amazing. I cried like a baby. <laughs> you cried. I cried. It was a little bit unexpected. I, it was so moving. I don't know. I just tears started streaming. It was really amazing. It was probably one of the coolest things I've seen. Yeah, Liz, I didn't cry, but I got to tell you, my jaw dropped. It, it was absolutely the weirdest thing you've ever seen. It goes completely dark, and there's no more sun. Um, it, it's something that'll last in my mind forever. Something that's a lot of people are thinking about right now is going on on I-5. Check this out. That's the traffic oh. that is leaving the Salem area from Madras and everything points eat. It is absolutely stopped. It has not moved in hours. And they're saying the 30 mile drive to Portland is now taking about three hours. Oh, brutal. So, um, yeah. Well, tell me. If I were those folks, I'd uh, pull off and do something else for a while. <laughs> yeah, or maybe wait till tomorrow or just make a little mini vacation out of it. Now tell me a little bit about your journey, Kenny, because a couple of weeks ago we were kind of going back and forth. Should you go to Wyoming? Should you go to Oregon? Because we weren't sure about the weather. Yeah. Do you still feel like where you are was the best place to be? I do because, you know, fortunately we have great uh, meteorologists like uh, Billy Poon and Paul Deano there. And, you know, they gave us the go ahead. You guys, it's looking good. It's looking good. And up until the last couple of minutes, uh, we had some high cloudiness the night before. Got up this morning and it was absolutely perfect outside. It could not have been better conditions. And from what I told, we may have some of the best videos, some of the best shots anywhere in the country of this eclipse. Yeah, they were pretty spectacular just seeing it on TV. I can imagine being there in person. And we also talked about a lot of different groups coming from all over the country and really all over the world just to witness this incredible event. Have you met anybody that's kind of been interesting who's made the long journey? <laughs> Yeah, I met a lot of really cool astro geeks. That's what we started calling them after a couple of days. But they were just, you know, so interested in what's going on in astronomy and everything. Yeah, people coming from Czechoslovakia, Japan, I mean, around the world. Uh, there were a number of viewing festivals. Uh, there were music festivals. And then this thing, I mean, how weird, right? They schedule a baseball game. Uh, to coincide with the eclipse, and the guy uh, who owns the team, this wonderful gentleman named Jerry Walker, um, you know, he called MLB and said, you know, I'm looking at my calendar. It looks like there's going to be eclipse, and we're going to be right in the middle of totality. Let's do something, and it was perfectly handled. And by the way, the two baseballs that they use to throw in at the beginning of the game, uh -huh. they are right now on their way to Cooperstown to go in the Hall of Fame. That's how oh, much MLB wow. wanted to play this thing up. Although they're probably stuck in traffic now on the way to <laughs> Portland. I'm pretty, I'm, I'm sure that they're saying it was definitely worth it. Yeah. All right, Kenny. It, it definitely was. All yeah. right. Thanks for the gorgeous pictures.